During Friday's meeting, state epidemiologist Dr. Benjamin Chan highlighted the possible use of rapid testing to clear symptomatic students and minimize the time they need to be out of school. We believe that that is a protective approach to maintain school operations in our state. Among the questions proposed to Chan, how to manage siblings of symptomatic students. We look at both the uh, symptomatic person's risk factor and testing status. Dr. Chan says if the child has no risk factors and a test is pending, the sibling can go to school. But if risk factors are present and a test is pending, the sibling should stay home. The same applies to teachers and staff with symptomatic children or spouses. This is intended for students with new or unexplained or children with new or unexplained symptoms of COVID-19. Chan also emphasized the importance of an isolation room and says ideally there would be a single separate room with a closable door in a private bathroom. But he adds not every school will be able to provide that. If you only have one larger room, then, uh, you know, I think the, the recommendation would be to, um, one, make sure that there's adequate space, good ventilation, um, and that you could look to install, you know, barriers. And now the group also asked about possible mask breaks while in school. The state says that could happen if there are procedures in place, such as holding those breaks outside or having an isolated area where individual students could take a break. Reporting live in Manchester, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.